hopefully this work you know come now on this one up now. welcome back welcome back to another episode of we rebuild today hey we're gonna put this motor in today into this car see how long it takes us right now it's like 8 56 so we'll see how long it takes us uh like share subscribe drop your comments and thoughts down below turn your post notifications on check us out on instagram check us out on twitter hey and if you want to support the channel cop yourself some merch at wevbuilds.com but <laughs> Let's talk in, let's hop into this. So now we just got the engine in. It just took us a while to, to line these engine mounts up and the mount over there. Because what I was doing earlier, I had this on this side, which you know, was wrong. So we ended up had to flip it around and realize this is the right way how to do it. And underneath, the exhaust get cut, get um, getting caught in this brace. So we just had to pull it off. But then now, now we're, we're, we're good, then we're gonna put the, the bottom engine mount in and then put the rest of the stuff on right there for the exhaust and then once we should be done with that and then we should be golden so now we just put all all engine mounts in and bolt them down so now we're about to just pull everything off and and then go and then start connecting all the, the wires and then we're going to just change the spark plug the engine oil and all of that right now so now we got the motor in so as you can see it's not shaking or anything so now we already um install back these install the the fuel line right here so now that, that everything is done, the only thing is left on this side, we just need to put this the green clip in right here. But as you can see, all these hoses are back on. Now that we connect all of this, so now all these wires right here, since we're just using all the wire and harness from the, the previous the, that comes with the engine, all we're just gonna do is just remove the wire from right here. So all you gotta do right here is just push these clips to the side when you push the clip to the side watch it all this family push this one clip to the side so when you push that clip to the side you just pull up and then once you pull up all you're gonna do is just push it back and this whole wire and harness should come out. So now, with that coming out, this is all. This is the whole wire and harness with, with the computer and everything. So now we're just gonna disconnect these wires. But before we hop into this, let's put this right here. And then we're just gonna take this wire, wire and harness, put it back in this spot. want to make sure that everything is down <laughs> basically pull it push it down lock it in the place once you hear that clip that click and then make sure the wire all the wires are down in there firmly and make sure it's good and then with the rest of this we're just going to basically put the rest of the wires that should be connected right here so this wire should be connected right here 
and then the rest of the important wires and then once we're done with that we should be good and then we're just going to put the ground wires back on on these sides so it should be one one two and three this piece is just covering this like this other grounding wire so that's the other grounding wire and then we're gonna put 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 back these grounding wires in and then put the battery tray down and then get all of that and then we could try to start it and see what happens so now the, these things, all I'm gonna do is just basically either let it stay with the engine and just remove this from the original car and it's basically plug and play and just, let, and just see if it starts. So let's keep going. So now we have everything connected. So we're gonna see, we already attached all these wires and make sure everything is good. We just put back all the terminals on, all the grounding wires. So now we're just gonna start it and see if it starts and then we go from there so we can put the radiator and the rest of the stuff on so now we don't have any only wires we have is left for the radiator and the fans that's right here and then for the the fog lights down at the bottom but now let's see see what happens when we start it So now we're about to try it to see if it starts. Hopefully it does. So now we're gonna just use, turn this um this tester this battery charger on so it can keep on um at least give it a jump start. So let's see if it starts and everything is run, running okay. But we won't know if anything is running okay because we still gotta put the radiators and all of that. Plus change out this broken bottle that's on it. But let's hop into it. So it's the next day. We already know that yesterday we started, it turned on. It was idling weird a little bit, but I know maybe because I haven't finished connecting the rest of the stuff that should be connected to the car. So we're gonna, we're gonna hop into that today, do some of that today, get some of the stuff connected. I've already fixed up all the wires and make sure all the wires should be in place. This is just the cover right here. So I'm not worried about putting this piece back on as yet because I want to also drive it to make sure, hey, it's running good. So now what I'm about to do, I'm just going to about to just do the oil change right now for the engine. I'm not going to touch the transmission just yet, but for now, I'm just going to focus on the oil for the engine and then change the filter since I've already have everything off and then we could get to everything easier. So let's just keep moving and hop into the video. So as you can see, I really don't have much help today. So I'm kind of using the transmission jack to see if I could use, use it to do what I need and help me with this because this is kind of heavy. So now, so 
I'm not trying to let it fall out. So since I don't want it to fall out, because I'm the only person here, I'm gonna just put these bolts on and just just so it keeps it secure for now. So I can put the rest of these hoses on. Kind of finally got it on. It's just snugged a little bit. I only put three bolts in because as you can see in the bottom one, I haven't put that last bolt in. But now I'm just gonna connect all these hoses right here and right here to the reservoir. And these hoses down here and all the connectors and then do all of that and get it started. So just now I couldn't find where this wire went to because the wire, the, the clip for this, this connector right here, was the same connector for this right here. But I found out that um, this wire run all the way from this side all the way to the next side over here. But I realized this clip is for is for this sensor right here to open and close these vents. So I think that that's what it's, it was, it's, it's for. That's what it is for. So now, we're about to put some coolant in it and let it run for a while and see what happens. So I know this doesn't have any coolant in it, but I'm, when I'm ready, I'm gonna start the car and it, let it flow through the system and then just add some more to it. So right now we're here driving it to see how it's running. I'm hearing a weird clunking sound on the passenger front when I turn. So maybe something over that side needs to be tightened. But so far it's running good. It's up to temperature. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> MD. JPB, it's only right, baby. Yeah, why you mad? I got a bad bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. That's it for this episode on We Rebuilds It. As you can see, the engine is in. We put the front on. I know we're probably, tomorrow I'm probably going to take back the, the front wheels off to make sure that the axles are in. I kind of ripped the lower control arm boots, so we just got to get those replaced. Or maybe don't even worry about it for now, but I could take it off the other car since we have everything. But you saw that we drove down the road, we're still here on this side. So on the next episode, we probably don't even do any more videos on it, but while we're working on the S5 because we have to get that done because we had the S5 for about a year now. We had this in since February, so we just got it done. So, but next time, we'll just see what's next to do, all the little stuff that we need to do on this to make sure it's good, and then we just put it on the road and it's good. But we still haven't done the oil change yet, so the next episode, we will do the, the oil change. Or just any, or maybe the next episode, we just do all the small maintenance, like changing transmission oil, engine oil, and the smaller the other things that need to be done. But I'm happy to say this build has been to an end. We probably have one or two more episodes. But apart from that, it was good. Like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on so you can get any alert once we drop a new video, okay? Hey, and don't forget to copy yourself some merch on wearebuilds.com. Hey, and I'll see you next time. Stay positive, stay motivated.